Today I'm gonna show you my warm room. Hello, I'm Griffiths. Welcome to Whitney Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living. Now we do reviews as well. Now, if this is your first time here, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button so you're notified of when new videos are uploaded. Now, it's that time of year, and I think we're going to start pulling the honey next week. Weather's gone pretty bad here for the last two weeks. I'm seeing a lot of the bees. Uh, they're shrinking down in size, and some of them have just said, that's it for the year. We're calling it a day and it's time to bring that honey in. So the way I bring the honey in, I like to pull all the honey from all the sites in one go. I bring it into this warm room then I store it here and then I'm free to extract honey. That all the honey is here, I just need to bring the honey from here into my extracting room, into my food grade room and then I extract honey from there. I don't have to worry about pulling honey from one site, extracting that, and then going to another site to get in more honey. I'm quite fortunate I've got this room where I can store the honey. It's totally rodent proof, it's bee proof more importantly uh, when you've got a warm room or a storage room. Bee proof is the biggest thing because it doesn't matter how secure you think your shed or building is, the bees will find a way into it and it's just disastrous. So you've got to store supers in a totally sealed uh, room where bees can't get to it. Now, if you're small scale enough, you can store it in the house. That'll be uh, bee proof. But when you've got a few hundred supers, you need, you need a specific room to store it. And ideally, you want that room to be heat controlled. So your supers can be warm slightly before going to extract it, so it just makes a job a lot easier. Now, that's what I've got here. This isn't uh, fancy. It's a very, very uh, primitive warm room. Um, it's built out of a, a timber carcass, four by two timber carcass, and it's cladded on both sides then with OSB three. So this is an external grade OSB chipboard so it can stand uh, moisture and some water. We're obviously in a shed, so it's dry in here, but this shed isn't insulated at all, so it can get damp. So that's why we went with the OSB 3 on the construction. I've got a second-hand UPVC door that actually came from next door, um, just down the road there. They were changing the doors on their cottage, and uh, they were kind enough to give me this door. So, and that's where this door sits. So the door itself is UPVC. It's got the rubber seals right round. I can lock it. Once that's full of honey, there's a fair bit of money's worth in there, so I can lock it uh, as, a, as a safety precaution more than anything. But the more, the, the biggest reason I went for the UPVC door is this is totally bee-proof. You can lock it, put the honey in, and it doesn't matter how much honey uh, the, the smell comes from there, the bees can't get into it. So I went with the UPVC door it's just, forget about it, nothing is going in there. Now, the size of the room, it's 2.3 meters tall, 2.3 meters wide, and it's 3.4 meters long. And uh, I'll just get the calculations out here. So on every layer, I can put 21 supers, and I can stack that 15 tall. So according to my calculations, I can put 315 supers in this room. Now, that's a lot of supers and that's been enough for me, um, probably going to be enough for me this year. Um, I'm not expecting any more than 300 supers. Um, been, been an average year, I'd say. But anyway, up until now, it's worked out perfect. I've, I've got, not, not gone anywhere near filling this to capacity. Maybe next year it will be a bit too small. Uh, we'll just see uh, when the time comes how many be viable bees they've got in the spring and increases and what the honey crop is like. But that's the room from the outside and it's got a couple of nice features. So let's open the door. We've got the brick plinth on two corners because that's, that's what we got on the shed here. 
and we've got four inch king span insulation in the shed as well so this room is entirely insulated top and sides i put a, a concrete floor in there as well so it's quite easy to keep clean everything's wipe wipe down material this osb3 is wipe down material as well so you can clean disinfect it the room is 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 perfectly four grade for holding honey supers. Obviously, I wouldn't extract honey in there. Um, you know, the, the concrete is exposed, it's not painted or anything. But for storing supers, it's perfect uh, condition to store supers. Nothing can contaminate the supers when they're in there. No bug, insect, rodents can get in there. It's totally secure, totally sealed. Now, I've got electric in there as well. So that's how I heat this. It's, very very primitive there's there's much much better honey honey warming rooms on the market or being built this is very very primitive it's literally uh it looks like a marijuana grow growing room really you know totally dark and it's got electric in there and it's totally insulated but it's a honey warm room and it's got electric and that's all i use is a little space heater in the corner here by the door i plug that in and i just bring the temperature up to about 20 degrees so when the supers come out, to, come out of the room, into the honey room to extract, the supers are warm, it hasn't gone cold. Because when you're extracting honey, say in September, it can be you know, five degrees outside, you don't want to extract honey at five degrees. The honey is so thick, it just doesn't come out of the frames. So this room just eases with the honey extracting. But more importantly, it just is there to store the honey safely and securely keeping it from not getting contaminated by anything and but more importantly not allowing bees to rob the valuable honey crop that this room stores before extracting but the biggest feature on this and i think you guys will like is up here i've got a bung hole which at the minute is covered by mesh because when you shut this door it's totally sealed any kind of dampness or moisture in there that's come off the honey supers once everything comes out, this room goes to sweat and you can get mould. So, I used to keep, I got a bung, and I'll talk about what this bung is for. I used to keep that bung in there all the time, but the room goes to sweat in the summer. So, I mesh that over to ventilate the room in the summer when it's not being used, and then honeybees or other bugs or insects, they can't go in there. It just keeps the room nice and ventilated so it doesn't go moldy. But this is what I do. When the honey supers come in, sometimes some of them have still got bees in there. And when you're talking two or three in the supers, combine all those bees together, there's a fair few bees in there. And you don't want those bees in your extracted room because they will poo over everything. They'll fly to the window, poo over the window, and it's just a massive pain. You've got to constantly clean as you extract honey where this room fixes that for me so i take that mesh off i put this bung in fits in there i shut the door and it's completely dark i mean it's completely pitch dark as dark as you can imagine that's how dark it is in there there is zero light penetration at all now what i do i wait till the night so it's dark outside and i put a light on in the shed then i take the bung out now the only light in this shed then is from that hole then all the bees then overnight they come out of the warm room they come out through that bung then they come into this room i get up early in the morning i put the bung back in there i've got zero bees or hardly any bees on the honey supers so when i go to extract that supers i haven't got the problems of bees being in my extracting room when i'm extracting i thought that was pretty um pretty high tech for something so primitive and if you if you've got a, a warm room or somewhere where you store supers prior to extracting you'll know how much of a problem honeybees in the supers can be and it could even you know be just a little bit of bees in some supers combine that with all the supers it's a lot well that's it for this video that's my warm room or honey storing room hopefully you've enjoyed the video and i mean there's nothing stopping anyone building this this is super super primitive nothing high tech about it timber frame osb3 boards a second hand upvc door and it does the job for me now let's talk about some of the negatives i've talked a lot about the pros 
you can store 300 supers, we can control the heat in there, totally secure, totally dry. The negatives, of course, it's got a pedestrian door, so I can't take a forklift in here. I can bring the pickup up right to here and carry the boxes from the pickup, or the trailer can actually come into the shed, and I can unload from here and then into it, but everything is a handball job. So I've got a physically ha manual hand, 300 supers by hand at uh, one time if I were to fill this room up to capacity. That is a lot of weight and that is a lot of work and that is a big downside of this warm room. Now, as I get bigger and my uh, farm, my honey farm gets bigger and I've got more bees, more honey to process, um, because this is a timber construction, it's quite easy to take this door out and then put a bigger door in. And I've actually got the space here where I could drive a forklift in here and drop par load supers on pallets and then drop a pallet here and then use a, a, a pallet pump to maneuver it inside the room. I've got the, I've got the means to do that. So maybe in the future I will do that, but manual handling all those supers, that is a big downside of this room. But we're talking, what am I, um, about 130, 140 colonies at the minute with the nukes. Um, I'm still very small on the commercial side of bee farming. Um, I know that sounds like a lot, but uh, from a bee farming point of view, I, I'm one of the smallest bee farmers out there. But I, but I can't tell you how important this room is for my operation. It's just allowing me to bring all the honey back to the farm, shut the door, and I don't have to worry about robbing because at the start, uh, when I used to bring honey in here, pallet wrap all the honey supers up, any kind of wrap in the plastic, the bees will go in the super, and I mean, you just got thousands of bees on the yard, and it's just not fun at all. This has just made everything much, much easier, and you know, we're using less plastic, we're not pallet wrapping everything up, and by far, this has been a tremendous help to my business. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.